Hello everybody, my name is Ardalan Bilavizadeh. Today I want to talk about the most important factors on the propagation phase in the saffron farming. If I ask me, I want to say you this is even the more than important, more important than flowering. Now in the, the last week, I posted a video on the YouTube about uh, how we can propagate the saffron bulbs. Now in that video, was the half of the leaves was green. Now, as you can see, the majority of leaves are yellow okay this is the traditional farm then we reach in this stages when we reach in this stage this is at the end of the propagation now in this bulb you can see the bulbs i want to show you these bulbs this means this is the new bulbs it means increasing the weight of the saffron bulbs stop we don't have any increasing weight because the leaves completely yellow, you can see maybe 2%, 10%, and the majority of them is the yellow. If you say, I would not, you know, how we can understand, is it possible? Fat time, this is the end of the propagation. When in your hand and the separate easily, this is the end of the propagation. When you easily separate, for example, like this, you know, again, this is the end of the propagation. It means now in this state you shouldn't give the fertilizer, you shouldn't give the irrigation. If you give the water, when the leaves are yellow, the bulbs, because they are not alive, and all the water stay in this region, and the, all the fungal diseases, the bacteria face with problem. Because when you give the water to the saffron plant, the bulbs should alive. The bulbs should receive the water but when the bulbs are asleep the propagation phase is a stop and giving the water or fertilizer is the staying the extra water and all your bulbs face with the problem and you should be taking it in this estate everything in the near the one month you should stop you don't give any water any fertilizer and let the farm for the propagation and you can in the next week or two weeks you can the with a tractor, with a machine, or by hand, you can separate the bulbs and start in the next cultivation. In the, you can in the next week, put them in the temperature 25 centigrade till September, and you can again uh, flower. These bulbs, they are daughter bulbs. This is the mother bulbs. Okay, this is, you know, this is mother bulbs. These bulbs, give you four months ago five months ago this give you flower the mother bulbs gave you flower and this mother bulbs gradually will be shrinking and this is the daughter bulb this is the white they are new one and these bulbs will give you flower again and then in the next year this time these daughter bulbs converted to this and the new bulbs exactly like this appear from the mother bulb now i want to talk about there are numerous questions how we can increase the weight what are the most important factors on the propagation phase first cultivation depth that means what is the cultivation depth when you want after the flowering in your greenhouse you want to put the soil on the bed this is cultivation depth the bulbs that in the soil in the books in the articles we have seen only focus on the 10 centimeters 50 centimeters but this is unfortunately this is not true reality let me tell you the reality about the cultivation there because this is very important thing on the increasing of the weight of the saffron bulbs increasing weight what is the best cultivation depth if i ask me 20 centimeters is good 25 centimeters is good 30 centimeters is the good cultivation depth even more more and more is a good idea my recommendation if you want to have a heavy bulb because when you cultivation depths there are a lot of space natural elements in the 20 centimeters they are like the cover from the the warm tension cold shocking 
temperature fluctuation, we have the frozen minus two cent minus or over 20 centigrade. When we have the temperature fluctuation, temperature tension, this is like the cover act and protect all the bulbs. Another thing, the bulbs with increasing weight leads to the deep cultivation steps. Deep. When this is a deep and should be dry, the roots should be dry and start to enter into the soil. And this is the main cause of the heavy bulb. But if the cultivation depth be five centimeters, 10 centimeters, roots, it doesn't need any strength, any, doesn't use any energy for the penetrating and the roots are not as so strong. But when in the hard condition, in the deep conditions, the roots dry and therefore we have the heavy bulb. Therefore cultivation dips in the deep is the most, more than 20 centimeters, more than 25 centimeters, no issue. But don't allow in the in the low, for example, five centimeters, 10 centimeters, even 15 centimeters is the very low. Second factor that is very important in the increasing the saffron bulb is the structure of the soil that you use. This is a traditional farm, but in the growing saffron indoors, in the vertical farming, we provide the best formula. The structure of the soil is very important. For example, this is 100% clay. This is also not suitable. Shouldn't be 100% sand. Shouldn't be 100%. You should be, the structure of the soil should be the mix of the sand and the clay. The mix of the heavy and the light. 50% clay, 50% sand. This is the best uh, structure for the soil. You know, the propagation phase usually in the Northern Hemisphere happens in the December, January, February, and the Southern Hemisphere usually happens in the June, July, and the August, three months of the winter. In this time, because here in the North, we are located in the Northern Hemisphere, and we are at the end of the winter, all the leaves are the yellow, and the cattle and the sheep, they are grazing, they are using as a father, you know, Hello, how are you? This beautiful sheep, they are using. The farmers can contract with the cattle owner and the, the shipping come to the for the removing. Because this is both of them helpful for the both of them. In this time, not issue, all of them yellow. We experienced three months completely green. I experienced here, all were completely green. But, but, if you have in the first months of the winter, if they feed yellow, this is a very wrong. That means you don't, you will not, you won't have increasing the weight. The weight of the bulbs, another important thing, I told you three impact factors, cultivation depth, the structure, the structure of the soil, and now the amount of the water that you want to use for this. Near the 10,000 kilogram saffron bulbs for the best propagation needs near 3,000 cubic meter water. Wow, too much water. But you should know here we have a lot of evaporation, too much water. You shouldn't do it exactly in the vertical farming. If you give this amount of the water in the vertical farming, in the propagation phase, you should say goodbye with all your bulbs. Therefore, if you want to Use the near, you should have the good ventilation near the outside with the best air handling unit in the propagation phase. Therefore, you should calculate in the vertical farming, you should calculate the amount of the evaporation inside vertical farming. And this is the number you should, for example, in your vertical farming, instead of the 3,000 cubic meters or the 10,000 kilogram saffron bulb, maybe 1,000 cubic meters, 500 cubic meters. You should calculate. But the amount of the water is very important because the majority weight of the saffron bulbs are made of the water therefore the amount for the traditional farm for the 10,000 kilogram saffron bulb they need near 3,000 uh, 3,000 cubic meter water after that another important factor is that in the in the traditional farm this is not under your hand of the owner the farmer but in the vertical farming 
you can easily control. Temperature during the propagation phase should be near the, the range of between 10 centigrade, 15 centigrade, 20 centigrade. Over 25 centigrade is equal with the uh, you face with the failure in the uh, saffron farming. But what is the worst scenario? What is the worst scenario on the uh, saffron farming? If in the propagation phase you face with a problem, how? In the when you want after the finishing the flowering, you have delay. For example, you receive the flowers in the distance. This is the long distance between the finishing flowering and beginning. Immediately after the finishing the flowering, you should add the soil to your farm. But if you, for example, after the two weeks, after the three weeks, you add the soil to the bed exactly in the first month, instead of the after three months, after four months should be yellow, after the finishing flowering. But if you have delay, for example, two weeks, three weeks, one month, you have distance between finishing flowering and propagation. Immediately after the two weeks, all your leaves become yellow. All your leaves become faced with problem. That is, all your bulb converted to the small, 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 small. And that is very clear. These bulb are not able to give you flower. You should have the heavy bulb. Very, very important. If you have your try, you should try in the three months, all should be green after the finishing flowering. Because after finishing flowering, the leaves will appear. For example, in Northern Hemisphere, in the November, leaves will appear in the November, and the Southern Hemisphere, in the, at the end of the April, the leaves, the green leaves appear. After the appearing, near the three or four months, all leaves should be green. If you have the four months green, it means you have the heavy bulb that depending on the fertilizer, depending on the temperature, also fertilizer is a very important, but not only fertilizer, fertilizer, cultivation depth, the amount of the water, temperature fluctuation, cultivation depth, ventilation, all of this equal with the heavy bulb. For example, here you can see these bulbs, these leaves are better. These bulbs, because they are still green. This, the condition of this bulb is the better. All they are half of green and another leaves. If you need my books, you can text me on WhatsApp 009-893-5825-3945. You can order in very simple language. I explain all the stages about the saffron farming, step by step, how economic sector, how we can experience second flowering, the weight of the formula for the best bed, for the shell, for the best fertilizer, step by step. For the reading, my book, it doesn't need any agricultural practice. Thank you.